In this video, we will continue to work on the unit testing C# with MS test in video studio 2022 past two. In previous lesson, we already know that how to create a unit testing project, and then we also know how to create some the sample for testing. In this video today, we will continue to work on it. In this, I'm only working on one unit testing project. Today, I will create one more project. In that project, I will create some method for testing. And then, in the unit testing project, I will perform some testing for some function in the new project. Okay, let's get started. This is the previous project we are working on. And so now here, I will go ahead to create a new project. Right click on the solution. And then I will select add new project. I will have the library. Library, yeah. I will select the template the class library. Next. And I will have the calculation project. Next. Yeah. So you see here, in this solution, we have two projects, calculation project, the new one, and the my testing project. Yeah, this is the old one. So in the calculation project, I will go ahead to close this one and delete the first class. I will create a new class in this project. And class and then I will name this one a calculation no, 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 no. yeah and you see here we have a new class yeah calculation project and the next by inside that we have the calculation management class yeah so in this class I will write some method yeah I will have public yeah I will change this one to the public. Public. Uh, I will return the values so that I will have public flow. Addition. Addition. I will have the float a float b. And then I will return the A plus B. Yeah. The same thing, I will have some other method. I will use this project. Yeah. Or you can also build a solution by right click on the solution so that it will build two projects here. Okay. And then the next step you have to add the reference from the my testing project to the calculation project. You see here in the my testing project, we have the dependencies. Open this and you can right click on the dependencies. Select the add project reference. Yeah. And you see here in the project and solution, we have the calculation project. Yeah. Let's go ahead to check on this one and then click on OK button. Yeah. After that, you see here, we already add the reference for the calculation project to my testing project. So here, we this again and then come back to the unit test one. Open this one here. Yeah. And in this one, I will add some the preference. I will have using the calculation project. Yeah. And I will define one more method for testing. I will test that uh, addition. Yeah. Okay. And for the addition here, so here I have to declare an instance of the uh, calculation management class. So that's I will have calculation, calculation 
management class i will have cm equal new year okay okay all right so here i will define some other number i will have the number one number two here and so that's here i will go ahead to perform the testing for additional method so the expected result will be the 10 plus 6 it would be 16 yeah and then i do here it will be the number one plus number two and then we will do some comparison here i will go in the function hang on here i will have cm dot addition yeah and then i have to provide the number one and number two what is it? number one number two yeah okay run it again yeah still pass the testing okay so here i want to change the expected result to 17 and run it again here you see we have the fail here and you make this one bigger and you see that we have the method e assess dot r equal e fail because the expected result is 17 but actually 16 here okay all right so now i will run back this one to 16 it would be working fine i will do the perform testing for some more method yeah set all right so here i will select all of the new function yeah run it you can press the control on the keyboard and then select some the test method you want to be performed the testing yeah you see here we have the test addition test division test multiple multiplication and test subtraction is working fine yeah all of the test cases here have been passed yeah you can see the check mark in green okay in case if i change something here to other number so that the test case will be failed let me perform testing again so for now it is of running some of the selected test cases i will run it all yeah so here we have two test cases it failed the first one is test divisions and the second one is the test method one yeah you see some of the red icon here all right and the next one i want to do some the debug for example you want to see the debug for this one to see what is difference so that you can select this one you add a checkpoint here so now you select the test and then click on debug own test you see here we have the yes low icon is staying in the breakpoint here so now you can press the app then on the keyboard to perform the debugging. Yeah, we have the number one is twelve, and next step the number two it is six. The expected result is still zero. For now, the expected result is three, and so that after we perform this one, you can press the F twelve. So that it will open the metadata for me. Yeah. You can click on F10 again. Yeah. So that's we have the result of actual. For now it is two. Next step, we do the comparison. So here we have the expected result is three, but the actual is only two. That means two number here is difference. So that the testing is failed. Yeah. Fail. Okay. All right. You can do the testing again for other method. Yeah. You add some breakpoint and then you perform the debugging step by step to see what is the difference or what happened to make the test case is fail. Okay. All right. So I think that's all. After you finish this lesson, 
you know how to create a new project in a, my first unit testing demo solution. And then you also know how to add the reference from the my testing project. It is a one. And then adding the reference to the calculation project, a new one. So that we can write the test methods in the uh, init test case. So that we can write some more test method to perform the unit testing in my testing project here. Yeah. And the last step, you also know how to perform the debugging in the unit testing project. All right. Okay. So I hope this lesson will be helpful for you. Let me know if you have any question. Bye bye. See you guys in the next lesson.